What if I have a speech to write, but I don't have any ideas? What if I postpone it? But what if I'm really willing to write and to progress? Can I find a way to generate an idea? Mrs. Toastmaster of the day, fellow members and guests, I know all of us have been here once or multiple times in our, in our lives. That's why finding myself within this situation, I went to Google and searched how to come up with an idea to write a speech. And to be honest, I was expecting one famous sentence to come out first. Your most brilliant ideas will come to you while taking a shower. But frankly speaking, I have never understood that. I can't even understand how people think while taking a shower. For my mind, it's like... These three past seconds, a complete void. But to be honest, I was surprised. Through this research, I was introduced to pre-writing with its different methods, like brainstorming, for example. And I'm pretty sure all of us here have been have tested this method in school. Like, it's like when the teacher wrote a word on the board and then one student sharing his opinion generates multiple other ideas in the minds of all the students and the cycle continues. Or like free writing where you just need a paper, a paper <laughs> and the pen. And for five to 10 minutes, you just have to write all that comes in your mind non-stop without paying attention to grammar, nor spelling, nor logic. I have been introduced to cluster mapping and journalistic questions until I came across one brilliant sentence. Pay attention to the pattern of your ideas. That sentence made me stop and think and ask myself, when is it that your mind comes up with your most brilliant ideas? And I'm asking you the same, when is it that your minds come up with your most brilliant ideas? Let me help you figuring it out by sharing with you what I learned from Chris Bailey's TEDx talk, where he talked about how our minds being constantly stimulated, being over stimulated, no longer have the time to generate new ideas. He talked about how boredom gives our minds the chance to think and to wonder, thus gives our minds the chance to generate new and more ideas. How, when our minds wonder, they make us more creative. And that's why our most brilliant ideas come up when we are doing something that doesn't require our full attention. And guess what? That's why it's while taking a shower for some, while driving the car for others, while working, drinking a cup of coffee, while doing an exercise we don't want to do, or maybe like me this time, while trying to force myself to sleep. And this is where comes the importance of having always a little notebook where you can write any ideas that cross your mind.
Hello, Toastmasters, honorable guests. The next time you feel bored and you find yourself about to bring out your phone and check your social media to stimulate your mind, just remember that your most brilliant ideas may come to you in the moment you expect them less. And that's why, don't ruin it. Don't ruin the inspiring speech coming up. Don't ruin the bright project. Don't ruin the mind-blowing invention coming up. Dear friends, the next time you don't find an idea, just let yourself bored and see the results. Thank you.